here's how to make a paper crane. All you need is a piece of paper. You can use the proper origami paper if you want, which is nice because it's thin, it's already the right size, it's a different color on one side, so you can tell uh, which side you want to have facing out, but you don't need to. You can use construction paper if that's what you have, um, which is a bit thicker. So as you can see, here's the difference. This is made with construction paper. It's a bit thicker and bulkier, but it still looks good. And here it is made with the origami paper. So here's what you do. You need a piece of paper and you want to make sure that it is square. So if you have the origami paper, it is already cut to size, you don't have to worry about it. But if you have a piece of construction paper, you just have to make sure that it is um, square. So you start with your piece of paper and you fold it in half this way. And then you fold it in half the other way. So that when you open it, you have this cross seam and then you flip it over and you fold it in half on the diagonal. And then you open it again and do it the other way. So now, when you have your piece of paper, you have this star increases. So now, this is a bit of a tricky part, but what you need is you want to have this square and then everything else tucked in beside it. So because we did our creases going in opposite directions, this is, it will be quite easy. You just pop it out, you push this crease in and bring them together, and then you push this crease in and bring them together. And there you have your square. And then you lie it flat, and so that it looks like that. Then here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take one side here and we're gonna fold it into this other. And then we're gonna take the other side and fold it into the center. The more you do this, the more you will get better at it. So the first few times, they're not gonna look very nice. It takes practice. So then you flip it over and you do the same thing on this side. Like so. so now you have your di diamond kite shape. So now you want to Fold this over, and this step is just so that you have this crease here. So you're gonna fold it this way, and then you're gonna open these, and you're gonna take the top layer, and you're gonna open it until you get to that crease. And then you wanna lie it flat by folding it along the creases here. You're gonna make the creases fold the other way so that it lies flat, like so. And then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna fold this over so that you get that crease so you know how far up your piece of paper needs to be unfolded. And then you're gonna open it and fold it along those creases. So there you have a different diamond shape and then you're going to fold these in towards the center and then fold that side into the center and then flip it over and do the same thing like so so you have a slightly smaller diamond shape. And now you fold, no, nope, no, nope. you fold this side open like so, and fold that open. And you flip it over and do that again. 
So now it kind of looks like a fox face with your little ears and your nose. So now we fold this one up like so, flip it over and do the same thing here. And then we open that side, flip it over, open this side. So here we're creating our wings and our body. So here you have your crane. So now you need to take one side for your tail and one side for your face. And then whichever side you want, you, you just kind of bend this down. So that creates the head of your crane. And you pull this one over a little bit so that creates the tail. And then you pull the wings down on each side. And there you have it. There is your paper crane. And then once you have your paper crane, you can turn it into a mobile. You have your several different cranes. You can make them in different sizes. You just have to make your square of paper bigger. And to do, uh, to make it into a mobile, you just take a needle and a thread or some fishing line or yarn or whatever, and you, you thread it through the bottom and the top and you can put beads on it. And once you've got your multiple cranes, you can have them at different lengths. You can make a mobile out of it and then you have a nice uh, decoration. And that's all there is to it. Thanks. Bye.